Nobody likes keeping track of stuff. Nobody likes tracking things, keeping track, keeping tabs. But you have to. You have to. Especially if you're in business or you happen to be alive. You have to keep track of stuff. So that's what we're talking about. Everyday KT number 228, I think. 227. I don't remember. It's in the comments. Anyway, accountability. Keeping track of your progress. That's what we're talking about. So... First off, what the hell is accountability and why do we need to do it? So if you are, like most people, have a goal of whatever kind, you are, you want money, you are looking for a bigger this, a better that, you're looking to lose weight, you are looking to be more fit, you are looking to stop smoking or drinking or whatever it is, you're looking to get your whatever metabolic or some kind of internal chemical count up or down or wherever it's supposed to be, you need to keep track of that stuff. Going willy-nilly, that's for kids and college kids. And yes, people in college are still children. They haven't experienced the real life and had reality smack them upside the face and say, grow up. Hasn't happened yet. So, kids, they can do whatever the hell they want. They can go out and have 47 beers and a bottle of Grand Marnier, and be fine the next day. Grown-ups, not so much. So, we have to be accountable. We have to keep track in some fashion. That doesn't mean 66 spreadsheets with color coding and all that other crap. Don't need, You don't have to do all to go that crazy. But you got to keep some kind of mental note on what you're doing. So, you want to succeed. Like... Family, prosperity, whatever. You, first, you need a goal. So, as you can see today, I have a kilt that's different than the one I've than what I've been wearing for. Well, I've never don't know if I've ever worn this one on the shelf. It's because I never fit. Now, a lot of you know that I have been attempting poorly to get back into shape. Or I know a lot of people say that I look like I'm in shape, but to me. I'm still a far cry from it because I was a uh, very active and avid athlete for a vast majority of my life. And now, kids, responsibility is not so much anymore. So where I want to be is nowhere near where I am right now. But somehow, I haven't figured it out. Maybe it's the ice cream sandwiches. Maybe it is the pizzas. But this kilt fits for the first time in something like five years. So, I guess now I've got to keep track of my progress. Now, one way to do this, now for kilt wearers, um, you buy a kilt, it's expensive. It doesn't mean even the cheap ones are like 100 bucks. You get the $50 ones, you're really cheaping out. So, you've got to be careful there. So, you want to keep tabs of your weight, your size. Because if you get too high or too low, your kilts won't fit anymore. And there's only a handful of them out there that actually adjustable that much. So you once you've got once you've invested heavily in a kilt, you kind of gotta stay in that general range. I have a lot of kilts that I don't. Well, I might be able to fit them now, but if those fit, that means I have other kilts that won't fit because they'll be too big. Now I can crank a belt down and those will fit, but that's not quite the same thing. So you need to keep tabs on your weight because of your kilts. Now, for those of you who have read Kiltology, you know about the kilt diet. Very simple. If you want to be a certain size, you buy a kilt in that size. Hang it on the fridge. If it's not mealtime, you try the kilt on. If it fits, you can eat. If it doesn't, you can't. Simple. Now, I've only I've actually seen that done. I've heard of it a couple of times, but it just depends on your mentality. So, keeping track, being accountable. If you can focus enough and coming from me it's uh, it's funny the fact that I'm even talking about this but I, I know what to do I just don't do it enough um, so I'll tell I'll spread the word if you can focus enough and keep track of whatever it is that you're trying to do you can succeed um, Dave has been quitting smoking and through accountability which means either himself or other people lack of a better term, hold your feet to the fire, you are held accountable and therefore you have more of a reason to meet that goal. And last check, he's still smoke-free, which is awesome because 
it means you're more healthy. So it enables you to focus more on the goal and less on the how when you are keeping yourself accountable. You keep track in whatever way, mentally, a ledger, somebody else, somebody else is best um, because they can bust your balls when you don't meet your goal or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Uh, but you have a, a something to, to look at, a, to track, a calendar of sorts. You know, if this were a diary and it had page numbers, and say your goal was to write in a diary every day. Well, here we are, it's 2.30 or 2.20. Oh, wow, there is no 2.21. I didn't realize that. It's 2.22. That means you did the next one. Oh, 2.23, 2.24 keep some kind of system where you can keep track of your success because as you spend a little bit more time focusing on the accountability side of things the actual thing you're trying to do becomes easier because you can see the progress um, simple one is weight loss now I say simple in the measure not the act of doing so I know better I'm not that naive but you have two different methods of measuring yourself for weight loss. You either have straight up weight, where you jump on a scale, or you have mass reallocation. Mass reallocation is the one I like. A weight lies, because if you lose fat but gain muscle, you could gain pounds, but you'll fit your clothes better. So my preferred way is mass reallocation. How do you judge that? It's... One of two, you know, you know, you can either get tape measures and measure all the whatever shenanigans on your body, or you just go by how your clothes fit. This kilt didn't fit a month ago. It does today. It means my mass allocation efforts are working, or reallocation, because I'm getting, I haven't dropped any pounds, so obviously there's more muscle, less fat, because my waist is shrinking, which is good. So you can measure it the way Dave's doing it. Dave's with no cigarettes. There's a lot of them. You can do it the way Chris is doing it. How many days straight does he want his kilt? And on a video, a whole crap load. Corey, accountability. He's doing a video every Thursday night. He's probably going to drop one today some po at some point. Every single week. Video. So with that accountability, what you do is you create a pattern that you can follow more easily. So, And as we all know, people are more or less pattern driven and habitual and they do the same thing over and over and over. Uh oh. Yes, Paul, you can hire Melanie as your personal trainer. Uh, as my cousin. So um once you get into those patterns, you can continue to keep doing those patterns. I know some people are good at that, some are not. I'm not. Um I know a lot of people who are. So once you get into that pattern, you get into a groove and you keep going. It's like, oh Tuesday I gotta go and go run. Wednesday, I gotta go hit the weights. Thursday, I gotta go up and run. Friday, I gotta go hit the interval training. Saturday, I get I, I gotta go run on the beach. Sunday, I'm gonna sit on my ass and and watch whatever or make a video. Try to inspire somebody to do something else. Um, for me, every night, nine o'clock, right here. Ability. Um, in the beginning, it didn't ma I didn't it didn't really matter. I did a video. And I would keep doing it. I was pushing myself, pushing myself. But now I've gotten to the point where I was 10 minutes. It was 9, 10 when I started this. If I had been maybe five minutes late, later, I would have had at least one, probably more messages on Facebook. KT, what's going on? People ask me because I usually leave a note if I'm late. And if it gets about 9.15 or so, people start wondering, where's the video? Because right now there's six or seven people watching. Sometimes there could be as many as 20. Doesn't you, It depends. So that's where the accountability comes in. So with that accountability, especially the external accountability, it holds you, holds your feet to the fire so you do the thing that you're supposed to. Now, that doesn't mean you're doing it to a certain level. It just means you're doing it. Now, uh, you know, are you going to do 10 reps of 100? 100 pounds? Maybe not. Might do six. But if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. You just keep going. Because eventually you'll get better. You can get those 10 reps of 100 pounds. Then you need 20 reps. Or you can bump it up to 200 pounds and start working your way back up again. Or whatever whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever the interval is. With that accountability, now, 
with that accountability, you get one thing which is awesome. And what that is, is that is a concrete measure of your success. Now with that, it becomes a self-fulfilling cycle. Because, or a self-fulfilling prophecy of sorts. Because once you get in there, you keep doing the thing, you measure, you review your measurements. Oh, hang on. I'm faster, or I'm thinner, or I'm healthier, or I sold more, or I whatever. Oh, keep doing the thing again, and you measure it again. And you keep going around and around and around. And ultimately, you know, somewhere in that measure is badassness, because you just become the guru of your thing, you know, or you have gotten to the kilt size that you want. You have been smoke-free for two years in a row. You have finally figured out how to get a Rubik's Cube solved in under 24 years. Happens. I still can't figure the damn thing out. and I'm just not going to cheat on YouTube. So keep going. Keep holding yourself accountable and help others in their quest for success through helping hold them accountable. I got a whole army of people holding me accountable every day for all kinds of different things. So my feet are charcoal at this point. But you know what? It's good because you've got them supporting you and helping you try to succeed and give that back to them when it, when ha when, uh, when it happens or when it's necessary. Sorry. So that's accountability. And because I don't want to waste time because I could ramble and go and blah, 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 blah. I know some people like the rambling, but no. Besides, I want to go see what Corey did on his video. Very cool. So those of you who don't know... Um, Go look up the Kilted Realtor on Facebook. Go check out his video today. Uh, I'm going to throw Kiltology Volume 2 at you so you can go check out Corey's video. Um, and if it hasn't dropped, keep an eye on it. Go to his Kilted Realtor page, like the page, follow the page, and check out the video because he's doing a hell of a job. And to that end, with accountability, with success, you eventually either naturally have it or develop determination because you see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train coming at you. And that's what we're talking about today, Kiltology on Amazon. Number 310, determination. There's not a living creature on this earth more determined than a Kilti with his mind set on something. There's no mountain he can't move nor sea he can't cross to accomplish his goal. That is, of course, unless he's swayed by a bonny lass with a wink and a grin. His task is waiting an hour or two in that point, in that case. And we all know why, because shenanigans, men, kilts, women, that whole thing, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get into that today. You can figure that out on your own. If you don't know, go, go to health class or something. So with that, Thursday night, go out, shenaniganize, have a good time. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. I hope a lot of you have an easy Friday. Uh, i got to figure something out. Next week's broadcasts are going to be hit or miss. I'm going to be at Boy Scout camp all week, Sunday through Saturday. With a whole bunch of kids yelling, screaming, shooting things, and fishing, and swimming, and God knows what else. It's Boy Scouts. What do you expect? So, I'll let you go. You guys have a good time. Go check out Corey's video. And be strong. Go kill them.